India is the world's largest importer of weapon systems and military hardware. But all that is now set to change. There is a new push from the government and that is Make in India. At the center of all this is the Defense Research and Development Organization. We have with us the new chief of DRDO, Dr. S. Christopher. So if I can begin by asking you, sir, uh, how do you plan to make this major shift from being the biggest importer to you know, cutting it down or import, you know, exporting stuff from India? Uh, as you are aware that uh, during the last uh, year show, our beloved Prime Minister also indeed made the same statement that uh, we are uh, the highest uh, importer of the defense equipments, which he is not at all happy about. So ever since uh, then we started working inward what we should do from the DRDO. First of all, we started uh, interacting more intensively with uh, industries because uh, for making things to happen, particularly export, DRDO being a government and defense organization may not be able to do directly. Also, the government has set up for a DRDO, particularly the defense protection uh, secretary has been made as a chairman for a board and they are also taking what all the product that we can export. Uh, we are looking into the industries so that they can go and talk to others as an ambassador wherever the items are cleared and also when the production is needed I am sure it has to be maintained also outside the country which we may not be in a position to do it. So we are also supporting them in that way. Uh, our, our minister also has told us that wherever whatever the equipment is there, particularly if it is not strategic, you can uh, talk to uh, the our own industries and bring out a paper by which that we can go look for an export. Are, are you, are, has anybody say expressed interest in any of our products? And if you do. Of course, yes, uh, already you must be knowing that uh, some of the sonars we have already given, including long time back, small small things like antennas, we have uh, given it to Polish. Uh, but now uh, we are looking at in a larger fashion because this is going to be a trendsetter. Uh, one is that, that uh, you are having your own power to protect yourself. Uh, on the other hand, if you can tell to the neighboring countries at least that you are not only able to protect yourself, but you can protect your neighboring countries also. That goes in a long way strategically. So the uh, major activity is that uh, surveillance. So when you look at the surveillance, uh, we have got airborne early warning system, which could easily uh, look around the places and looking for uh, long distance missiles and other weapons coming towards you. And that is one of the things which we have developed for the first time in the country. And there are a lot of uh, interest shown, particularly from the uh, South American countries. Anybody nearby who's come and asked for these airborne surveillance systems? We have, we have, we have opened up uh, in the various uh, exhibitions, and there are some company like, I mean, countries like Indonesia showing interest. So, how far are we from uh, selling these to Indonesia? Uh, our, as I told you, that the we have got for this product uh, what we call it Elsa. Uh, engineering life, life Support Agency, that is none other than Mrs. Bharat Electronics, it's a public sector unit. They are going and meeting various uh, people in that country and the negotiations are uh, going on. Once come up to a stage where the product is uh, very attractive and then they will come and approach us, a team along with them will go and get into the more and more uh, technical details to converge followed by uh, more of uh, commercial. So let me now ask, you know, move on from here. I mean, we have seen successive CAG reports, successive parliamentary committee reports, talking about cost overruns, talking about projects not being managed properly. How are you going to change all that? Uh, one point is that uh, we have not uh, correctly projected in terms of uh, uh, time frames. You look all over the world, a major program like um, you take AVAX itself, they have taken 15, 16 years or if you take a wedge tail program which is also again American AVAX program which has gone through a cost overrun and time overrun. It's all uh, in the major programs like this we are talking to multiple agencies. You imagine in the case of AWNC or AVAX, it is not the mere question of scientists and DRDO developing and bringing up to a stage. A huge amount of vendors are involved, including private as well as public sector. Followed by that, it needs to be tested and evaluated. 
that means the pilot has to come from somewhere that is none other than air force they got their own priorities we have to train the pilots so they go for a training and come back there but the pilots have their own career growth so they cannot be in single place so they, they get transferred so we have to look for second set of people so all these things add to the time frame in addition to that particularly in the case of uh, avax it is a, a system which is made to order so air force had their own requirement of changing some of the wars which is very obvious it, it cannot be stationary all the time so that also lead to some additional time another typical example is uh, while we finalized the contract with embraer that is the aircraft industry for making this avax we had a problem of we had a option of taking for icing certification that means in the case of icing happens should you have to certify or not certify the call taken because all over the world similar kind was not taken icing certification we said not required but as we are proceeding we found that there is an article came from china there was a similar aircraft went for a crash because of uh, icing on that so we changed our mind or rather air force asked us to go for a, a icing certification icing certification has to be done only in a selective places like for instance alaska when you want to go to alaska we have to get a clearance from us the moment you have a equipment where though the equipments are not put the real actual ones are not put even a dummy equipments are done being a military aircraft they were not giving clearance it goes on for quite some time in the meantime we miss one season the next season december to december only so multiple test, things multiple adding things delivery. adding on to the delays we have seen the um, arjun tanks we believe that the arjun tanks i mean from what we have heard is now stuck up because uh, you need to fire a missile from the barrel so these out you know in a, in a way these kind of demands that are being made from the military and we have i've recently been reading some reports which said which has indicated that you know the military is also not cooperating with the drdo to some extent is i want to say that the requirement or as and when you become aware of certain things you obviously would like to get the best nothing wrong in that but and won't you take what you have and then start improving on it won't you do that that should be the right way of doing if you and i are having a business contract or if i am buying from elsewhere you left with no other choice to do that whereas in a drdo in a government organization we don't have uh, probably such a type of contractual binding and mm -hmm. plus scientists when you ask for something when they can do it or even they cannot do it they love to say that yes i will try oh, this is one of the uh, mistake no, that no the basic thing do. is uh, don't you think there is a lack of cooperation because we all know that nobody else is doing research it's the drdo that is doing the research couldn't the military have been a bit more you know accommodating i will say that uh, but uh, uh, if they are going to not fight a war they can be very relaxed but they are also under lot of tremendous pressure they have to uh, give their performance when they are act to do with their performance and they are have to look at the other side uh, capability i'm sure they must be they also have to uh, bring up that so the point is uh, if they are willing to relax on that yes the indigenous uh, growth will become faster better they may have to give an explanation elsewhere for their failures it could be because of attributable to our equipment the understanding if it comes from all the levels government and the services as well as in drdo i'm sure we must be able to find a bridge amongst all of us moving on from here there is nobody else that is doing defense research we want we have seen the government trying to do make in india how much do you think or when do you think that the private sector is going to come in because all nations are export defense equipments like america like uh, you know like france uh, they have a very strong private sector we don't yeah. so where does that leave make in india uh, it has got uh, two sides uh, it is not only the government and the services are not interested or the drdo is not interested in using the uh, private sectors as a matter of fact uh, our strength lies in uh, private sector support if you look at any of our equipments or most of the equipments we always have a private vendors or there with us and including public sector but if you ask them to take and run a project 
generally the defense projects of the large magnitude takes quite some time. So one has to have a deep pocket. If you take LNT today, LNT is there in almost everything. You take Akash, productionization is done by them. And uh, similar to that, there is lot of areas uh, LNT is involved as a big company. Similar to that, smaller companies are there. If you would like to make more and more uh, participation of the private companies, they must be told whatever the time it takes, during that time, some amount of hand-holding in terms of monetary support has to be created because nobody can make a product, wait for the evaluation and finally looking for the uh, series production. The evaluation generally it takes long time but that nobody can blame it because they have to wait for a season. If you are using in summer what will happen, when you are using in the winter what will happen, when you are using in a rainy season what will happen and various terrains. All those things takes time. You have to wait at least for a cycle of one year, if not more. And if there is any failure when we are developing it, then that you rectify and come, then you have to like wait for the next cycle. You take, for instance, uh, submarines and uh, you know torpedoes. We wait uh, only for a season which is not even three to four months uh, available in a year. So that type of endurance, private companies may not be in a position to have. Is there any corpus which can fund them and hold them I am sure it may be possible. It is not the question of uh, DRDO or services not willing to introduce or bring in uh, private companies. Dr. Christopher, thank you so much for speaking to NDT. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.